Hey folks, Terrapin the Hobbit, not the Hobbit, I'm used to saying Terrapin the Hobbit Rogue, but Terrapin the Turtle Archaeologist is back again with inventory management. Um, I don't know if I have, okay, I have something to say about this and this, I guess. They might be enchanted, which would be cool. Uh, but other than that... I don't know if I have much to say about all this stuff. Oh, also I might ID some things. It seems reasonable, yeah. But I think I'm going to skip over um, the actual inventory management part of this. Because... Super boring. So I'll see y'all on the other side, I guess. Okay, we are back. I've decided what I want to put in my stash, but we face the problem now that I'd like to ID things, but half the stuff that I want to ID is not here. It's up in higher st level stashes. So, I don't know, because on one hand, I'd prefer not to... I would like to have a bag of holding before I move stashes, because that would make it much easier. On the other, I don't necessarily want to wait that long. But I think what I'm going to do is check out the Ice Queen's Realm. Oh shit, that's a beholder. Um, dead now, great. Um, check out the Ice Queen's Realm. Best case scenario, I find a normal bag of holding, which I can use to move my stash before facing the Ice Queen. If I don't, then depending on how awesome Fault seems to be, um, and just how confident I am, I might just take on Catherine and uh, get the bag of Asperities which is like an uber bag of holding, basically, um, and use that to help move my stashes and consolidate them. Um, we'll see. Uh, whoops, went too far. So, um, Ice Queen's portal is somewhere on this level. Howling Wind is one of the messages. I don't really pay attention to the messages. Here we are. Because there's only one floor that this portal can be on, but there are messages nonetheless. Okay, so first order of business, hopefully, is that Fault will eat one of these corpses. Great. Um, so Fault is cold resistant now, which makes a big difference since basically everything here, except the Orcish Outriders, Goblin Outriders, whatever they are, um, will be doing cold damage. Oh frick, that was a nice nymph. Um, Pretty much as bad as any other nymph, but also have terrible health, just like most nymphs, so... Cool. Um, I'm going to take these out, just see what's up with them. Maybe they're really good. I can't imagine they're better than a weapon with an O-prop if they don't have one, but maybe they do. Let's just wield each of them in turn real quick. Don't seem to be particularly special. Of course they could always be dealing frost damage that I'm not noticing. So 
So yeah, there always seems to be a giant zombie here. I think it might even be guaranteed since I see him so often. Um, anyway, that's taken care of. Uh, and there's also always axes around. One time I got cleaver. Actually, that was on my last Dark Turtle Archaeologist run, I believe. Um, I have two of these ones now. That's engrave ID. Or, yeah, that's engrave ID. Okay, no message, so. Could be anything. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, double headed axe is one possibility. I think you might be guaranteed just a normal axe as well, not certain. But you need them because um, there's trees in the way of the downstairs that you need to get rid of. Um, specifically dead trees, I think. No, they might be live trees. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so you can like blow past them with fire. That's one option. But using an axe is probably the easiest thing to do. Um, I'm going to try to get a corpse over here. Yep. Okay, I'm going to take this unidied wand. Oh, um, it didn't prompt for direction, so it's either nothing or secret door detection. Um, cool. I was kind of hoping for opening. So you also are guaranteed a crystal chest. It doesn't usually have much good stuff in it, but can. Um, I can't remember now if I curse tested this. I think I did. Yeah, okay. So double-headed axe is uncursed, which means I can use it over here. So there's a five. Um, we will see what it is in a second. But it is decently scary. Um, so we can see now it is a snow golem. So this is not a unique monster of any kind, but it is a dangerous one. They're a little slow, but they do some serious knockback damage. Breath doesn't matter if you resist cold. Um, and the spit cold, uh, basically they spit a, spit a snowball at you, which can blind you. Um, and being a golem, they're like pretty resistant to stuff in general. So you gotta watch out for them. Um, pardon me, my cat seems to require my attention. All right, where were we? I think we were just waiting for the golem to come at us. Uh, yeah. Oh, snow golems can be decapitated. That is interesting. Okay, um, so I don't think I've recorded anything where I've been in the Ice Queen's Rumble before, actually. So just to go over things a bit more, um, this is the first level, obviously. Uh, Ice Queen's Rumble consists of three levels, um, and you are dealt cold dam damage continuously if you aren't fully resistant. Um, but I am, so that's a non-factor. The levels are n mostly not randomly generated. Um, like the layouts are the same, but you know, objects can be in different places. Uh, so this first level you have a frozen river, you've got the snow golem in the corner. Those are the main things. The second level, you face a bunch of revenants right off the bat. They have a paralyzing um, touch, which can be scary. Um, 
I, I wouldn't say these are deadly by any means, but uh, they can be dangerous. I have free action, so it's not a concern whatsoever for me. Um, then you always have a bear trap here, and you always have a saber tooth tiger that comes up from the bottom right corner. Um, they're a cat, just like any other, pretty scary. Um, and then you also have another adventurous corpse down here. Um, also, or there might not be a bear trap here, I can't remember. I guess there isn't. Um, and they always have a spell book, so that's cool. Um, it's one that I already have, so not super helpful, but it's there. Then this is like the bulk of the level is this frozen over area, which is rather tricky. Oh, shoot. I'm encumbered. Okay, let's drop this while we deal with the salamanders. Um, so the ice is tricky to deal with because you can slip on it which immobilizes you for a few turns. Um, this can be avoided by flying or levitating, or by wearing snow boots, or by having intrinsic cold resistance, which basically means you're a monk, you're a Valkyrie. Yep. Um, I think that's it. Uh, or you're polyed into something that has cold resistance. Um, I can't wear snow boots, and if I wore my amulet of flying, I wouldn't have magic resistance. So I'm basically stuck with levitation, or hoping I don't have any problems just walking around. Um, okay, what should I drop? These are not super useful. And of course, a lot of the stuff I've just picked up, not super useful. Okay, um, got about 200 AUM of freedom now. So, um, yeah, then worse yet, uh, you have open air here. Um, this stuff is really scary. Uh, so, oh, and by the way, the, I have specifically made the glyph be the tilde. Normally it just show, shows up as blankness, like uh, stone or the default tile for a ghost, um, which means you can think that like, like in some quest levels, you have like a narrow bridge over a stone area. And so you might think it's like one of those and act, be not be very careful and you can step into open air and fall to your death. Um, so yeah, if, if you're not flying or levitating and you step into open air, you die. And paranoid confirmation, uh, the paranoid swim option doesn't uh, prompt you about open air. So you need to be very careful there. And usually I try to fly or levitate whenever I'm near open air. Um, so yeah, I'm taking out my levitation ring now, placing poly control because that's just there for convenience. Um, so I can polymorph into something if I'm feeling like I'm in trouble. Um, One good thing is I have non-metallic gloves, so my levitation is entirely... There's there's no way that my levitation will stop working, um, so that's good. Here we have the Abominable Snowman. This is a unique monster, as you might imagine. Um, and he always guards the bridge here. Abominable Snowman. Um, he guards the bridge over the chasm here. Uh, this, so this whole branch is at least partially based on Frozen, so, um, I believe in Frozen there's also a very large snowman that guards a bridge, so that's neat. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, I, I would imagine that was a factor in the design of this level. But basically, he is... The Abominable Snowman is... Um, this big old creature that throws boulders at you, has does tons of damage up close. Um, starts with a big stack of boulders as well. Uh, and, you know, it has a lot of health, although his AC is not great. Um, so my levitation is of a concern because it makes me even more vulnerable to knockback. Um, plus I can't maneuver the boulders around. I'm hoping that now that I've riled him up, um, the snowman will eventually come more out into the open over here. Um, and I can just have more room to face. It seems like that is not the case. Another thing is that there's always a pit trap here. So um, I'm going to be very, very careful while I'm pushing this boulder, which means I can't be levitating. OK, boulder has filled the pit. Let's put levitation back on. Um, another problem is boulders break line of sight. So he throws one at you. It gets in the way. He loses interest in you. I guess this is working out OK. seems to be working out okay okay yes this is more like it so best case scenario I get them all the way over to solid ground which may or may not happen So long. Okay. Um, yeah, here we go. And also my Jabberwocks nearby, which makes me more confident. Um, I don't know if so. Frost salamanders, you may have noticed, they will stick to the ice. Kind of shit. Um, kind of like. Uh, okay. So Abominable Snowman will walk off the ice. Um, but yeah, so Frost Salamanders stay on ice, like normal Salamanders stay in lava when, when they can. OK, Abominable Snowman is down, largely thanks to Fault. That was pretty scary. Okay, um, so levitation back on. Let's hop on over the bridge and on to the next level. Oh yeah, um, another thing that pops up here is you always end up with a mastodon. They are, as you can see, another quadruped. Um, and the second scariest queue currently in existence. Um, so yeah, just like all the large quadrupeds, they do a lot of damage, and they have knockback and bear hug attacks. Um, and they have just so much health. And because I have no way of measuring um, false health, I'm just trying to be really generous with healing spells when I can be. Um, let's... Ooh, dilithium crystals. Um, so dilithium crystals can be used to forge crystal plate. 
which means that that particular gem, that and amethysts have some very slight real world uses other than just bringing them to Astral for high score. Um, and just throwing them to unicorns, I guess. But crystal plate mail is not something I can wear, so I am less excited about that than I normally would be. Okay, so then the downstairs is always over here. Um, and we find ourselves on the final Ice Queen level. Um, again, the monsters that spawn outside here are not random, although their placement is. Actually, I think this might be random. But you always have a Frost Giant and a Woolly Mammoth and a Sabertooth Tiger. So wo Woolly Mammoths are the region Mastodons are only the second scariest quadruped. Um, they are a bit slower than Mastodons, but uh, they do even more damage. Um, they're kind of the new purple worms for Astral. Um, you can reverse genocide them and they have no magic resistance, so you can tame them really easily and just set them loose um, to kill most things, just with pure damage, not even any silly tricks like digestion attacks. Because on the Astral Plane, angels will usually um, get uh, Ooh, nice. You can levitate and throw your Atlas when you float back. So that's like almost infinite kiting right there. Um, cool. Um, where was I? Uh, yeah, astrals on uh, angels on astral almost always, not almost always, but they often have. Um, oh, you feel the spirits holding you back. Interesting message. Um, you almost always or not. Sorry. Okay, so they ha often have slow addition rings, and that means that purple worms are not really a great strategy in Astral anymore. Shit. See, these things are just so scary. Well, that sucked. I don't have undead turning, so... Well, that's it for fault, I guess. I'm not having a great record with pets this round. Um, oops, I have my Aquas. There we go. Um, then you always have these two ice trolls um, and these two spear traps. So while dealing with the spear traps, you've got ice trolls. They each have like 100 arrows, so they are never running out. And they're just firing at you through these iron grates the whole time. Iron grates, which are, by the way, in, uh, they can't be blasted apart with force bolt. I believe you can still use acid to break them, um, which is a quirk unique to the Ice Queen realm as well. Um, because freeing, so um, here we can see there's like zoos, three different zoos to be precise, one zoo here, one zoo here, and then a big zoo here. Um, then we've got Catherine, the Ice Queen herself, waiting in her throne room. Um, she has two dogs too, Ozzy and Bourbon, um, and a Pegasus trapped behind some iron bars. So you have to, to free the Pegasus, you have to break the bars with a potion of acid, which I should have brought with me now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Um, and uh, that means that uh, 
all the iron bars on the level can be broken with acid. Normally, on non-randomly generated levels, iron bars are usually unbreakable. Like for various Gehenim levels, you've got iron bars, and they can't be broken. Um, so the way I deal with these trolls is sometimes I eat them if I'm like if I'm hungry or whatever, but half the time they just revive before I'm done. So instead, I just take their bows and then I lock them in, um, and they're no threat anymore. Unless some asshole monster comes along and breaks the doors, which sometimes happens, but very rarely if uh, I'm not around to, for them to be... Like, if sometimes they'll breathe at me and miss and hit the door, but if I'm not near the door, then it doesn't matter, if that makes sense. Um, conflict, very bad idea on this level, um, due to some bugs with riders that will be fixed literally any time now <laughs> during the next release. Um, but I don't have conflict anyway, so not a concern. It would be a very solid strategy, though. For, and it is a very solid strategy on this level with all the zoos. Um, but yeah, not an option for me at the moment. Actually, I'm going to try to... Yeah, okay. Because I don't want to have that troll waiting behind me if I want to run away from this slot at some point. Um, one nice thing is there... Well, there's a bunch of liches in the main zoo. Okay, I guess that's about a normal amount of liches then. I'm used to seeing at least one lich in one of these zoos over here, so it's a pleasant surprise to see there aren't any, but um, there's still like five of them on the level. Uh, so gotta watch out for those. Um, so yeah, this is like the Ice Queen's castle area. One nice thing is it does not have an ice floor which not very accurate to Frozen, but I'm not complaining because it means I don't have to be levitating all the time. Um, and there's the gold from the zoo. And you have a lot of frost giants on this level, so often doors are broken. Um, Luckily, so far, we haven't had to deal with that so much. Okay, um, these liches really suck. So, uh, what's their level? Base level 11. Okay, I don't know off the top of my head, but Cancellation is a spell that some monsters can cast, and I've definitely seen liches cast it before. I don't believe it's even directional. They can just kind of... They can target it like... For fight. There we go. Finally unlocked it. And of course, there's nymphs immediately. Um, so I, I think they can target it like Fireball, maybe. But certainly they can do it at range, the cancellation spell. Um, and it will cancel my items, which sucks. Um, so I want to kill the liches quickly, but I also don't want to get in melee, uh, melee range because then they'll curse my items. So it's a tightrope. Luckily, I do have a pretty solid ranged option in these spheres. Um, um, because, oh, and this frost giant's riding a holy mammoth, so gotta watch out for that. Um, I think I'm actually going to try my levitating while throwing Aklas trick again. This is just too painful. Oh, frick. Okay, the frost giant's down. Good. What the hell is up with this frost salamander? It will not die. 
Thank God. Oh, and now I have a wand of polymorph too. That's fun. <sighs> um, at least all of the polymorph options are just awful so far. But still, I much prefer to be out of the line of fire. I'm far enough away that the polymorph is less of an issue for now. I have magic resistance, so I don't care if it's zapped at just me, but if it's zapped at um, monsters, they could turn into something really dangerous. Okay, I'm actually going to rest just to make sure that the mammoth steps one more square. So with large enough monsters, I can't remember the exact cutoff, but it might be huge. Um, spear traps will break off against their body um, and it removes the trap, which is obviously helpful. Um, Finally, Mammoth down, Platinum Barding, that's pretty useless, very heavy, doesn't give any extra AC or anything. Um, ooh, a tin opener, that is quite useful. I love myself a tin opener. Um, Fun to be trapped there. There's the one to polymorph. Get a bonus wand of extra healing too. Retriever spears, most of them. Where's the last one? Hmm. Mysterious. Is it over here for some reason? Probably not. A wait, a greased flute? How did I miss that? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> How would you play a greased flute? Um, very odd. Alrighty. Oops. Um, hmm. So I think I started saying this earlier and then I got distracted by lots of scary things, but with my Vorpal Jabberwock gone, I am absolutely not confident in Absolutely not confident in confronting Catherine. Um, she's super dangerous just by herself. She also has a really bad acid blast spell. Um, ooh, level 14, just in time. Definitely going on the quest now. Um, she has an acid blast spell, which just does a heck ton of damage. Um, such that a lot of players will actually uh, specifically get some gear that grants acid resistance for Catherine. Um, the only thing that does that is an apron slash alchemist, alchemist smock, I think it's called. Um, I cannot wear one. 
so that's the only mundane armor. The other option is Dragon Bane. With the gloves grant mass resistance. Um, but I would like to sacrifice for those rather than wishing for them. Not that I have any open wishes at the moment anyway. So it's uncertain when I will have that option. Um, all that is to say that I have no idea when I'll feel ready to face Catherine. Um, I have lost a Mithril Spear. Where could it have gone? And yeah, without some powerful pets or some other exploit, I just don't feel good about it. Um, another option is to use poisonous weapons or venom weapons, something like that. Um, because the Ice Queen is not resistant to poison. So you can get an inch to kill. Um, that, as a lawful, I'll take an alignment hit for that. But, uh, would be worth it. Still, I'd want to finish the quest first, so I'm very glad I got to level 14. Did I leave the Mithril Spear upstairs? It's not the first time I've done that. Okay, this glitch is going down. Maybe. Alright, there we go. Okay, I'm really close to being burdened even while levitating. So I just gotta leave, I guess. Um, we'll solve the mystery of the missing mithril spear some other time. And it could be on a level above that I just forgot about. as I pass over the bridge. Good safety net. Plus it's icy, so there's that. Um, no mythical spear there. No mythical spear there. I'm pretty sure I had six spears during this time. Well, I guess I just get, gotta deal with being burdened. Uh, still gonna levitate at this moment because um, there's the ice river to worry about. Pesky ice nymphs. No. Oh. I should not be quivering those while levitating. Although I'm not levitating at the moment. Anyway. Um, this having both a actual ranged op uh, like a projectile ranged option plus an atlas is really messing with my head. It's hard to remember which thing I'm gonna throw at a given time. Um, okay. Well, it's around here somewhere. What's the- I've never- don't know if I've ever read this. Huh. Interesting. I find it odd that Carl died so close to, um, close- so close to the exit. Especially when he was just talking about exploring deeper. Anyway, let's hope we don't end up like Carl. Uh, and that's just insult to injury. We find ourselves in an apron and we can't wear it. I One option, I guess, is to polymorph into like a 
uh, an Alhoan, maybe. Um, that probably would be the best choice, yeah. Uh, which is like an undead mastermind flare type. Has better hit dice too, and can spell cast. No wraith here anymore. Not sure about the fire giant either, actually. Oops. Nope, still a fire giant. Um, ooh, and there's a, a some sort of horse on the level, so I can get another pet and throw into the grinder. <laughs> uh, but no raise anymore. Um, yep. Uh, where was it? Oh, they don't eat food rations. I forgot about that. Um, right. Picky bastards. There we go. Ooh, more honey badgers. What's up with that? Oh, actually, will my nightmare fight it? Doesn't seem like it will. Okay. That would have been an easy, free way to get polymorph. I'm going to toss the quivering blob corpse just to increase timidness, but uh, nightmares are al already poison resistant, so that's not a concern. Um, anyway, yeah, Alhans are humanoid, medium size, so they can wear all armor. Have good attacks, have good hit dice, have good resistances. I could probably take Catherine if I was an Alhalen, I think. Um, the only issue is their spellcasting attack uses power and just procs randomly. Um, so it can be... It, it basically means you can't rely on the spells that you actually know. Um, because you might not have enough power to cast them. Still, I'm not super relying on my spells anyway as an archaeologist, so hopefully that's not a concern. Plus, hopefully I get another badass pet, or at least a pet that's better than a lesser nightmare, um, by popping by the poly floor, which miraculously has survived two different pets. Usually you end up with some intelligent pet that thinks it's a bright idea to jump into the poly trap and get polymorphed into a lichen or whatever. Okay, um, what do I need? What don't I need? Let's see. Don't need any of this. Don't need this for now, anyway. Um, lots of food rations. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you should see what this new spellbook is. Stone to flesh, neat. Not mm, widely useful, but can be helpful if your pets get stoned, for instance. Um, anyway, I'm gonna just leave these spears here. They don't seem that good. Um, I don't know, I might use the Crystal Spear against Catherine when I need every advantage I can get. She's resistant to cold, so my Silver Trident is, depending on the enchantment of this Crystal Spear, possibly worse. Um, let's see. Most of these potions I don't need. Mm. Whatever this wand is, I don't need it. Uh, a few too many. I'll keep the make invisible wand. You never know when you might want to be invisible. Um, Ooh, 
greased flute. What will they think of next? Anyway. In goes the potions and the wands and greased flute. Keeping the tin opener though. Um, maybe I should even bless it. Uh, you know what, I'm going to do that. Because that means I can open, say, um, a stalker tin uh, whenever I want in zero turns, despite it being um, cursed, uncursed, not blessed. Okay, we have ourselves a mind flayer, so that's something to watch out for. Uh, should be fine. Yep. But I'm glad we were able to kill it quickly. Uh, I guess we can try it on over to the altar or not. Wow, they're big. Already at max intelligence, so that wasn't really necessary. Maybe I should have tinned it. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of intelligence, I should probably recall some of these spells Magic Missile, Force Bolt, Healing, ID. I'm a basic with it now, so it's actually castable. Wizard Lock, Confusion Slow Monster. Yeah. I think. Confused Monster gets a bit of a bad rap if you have a uh, somewhat energy regen artifact. Because it's basically free to cast and has no detrimental effects at that point. Um, but since I don't have energy regen, it's not useful to me at the moment, so I won't re up for that one at the moment. Actually, several of my books are in whatever stash I have upstairs. Slightly annoying. I guess we'll head up there. And <sighs> um, after that, we will embark on the quest. <sighs> well, that was mm, not a very effective weapon. Glass has like a one in six chance of shattering whenever you use it. To whenever you hit with hit melee, if you throw it, it always breaks. Um, it can also shatter if it's armor and gets hit. So terrible idea unless you fix the object, in which case it's shatterproof. Oh, heh. <laughs> There's a mimic rather wisely mimicking a, another altar um, in the uh, in the temple. Wait, okay, I'm gonna. Damn. Uh, as I was saying, I'm gonna create some monsters to sacrifice. Uh, just to make sure my luck's all the way up, because it's been a while, and there don't seem to be many other monsters on the floor. Okay, luck's all, the, all good then. Take these for forging. Yeah, I'll leave them. We'll just leave all those here for now. Okay. So we're off to our other stash. 
wherever that is. Still super confused about where that other spear off to. And we'll relearn some of our spells. Maybe move some of the stash downstairs, possibly. Um, and then we'll go off to the quest. But also, we want to polymorph. Rock, what are they up to? Decent speed. Have a whole bunch of attacks, but they don't do much damage. Levels kind of eh. Yeah, one of the weaker forms of demon, it says. Let's see if we can get something better. Fire giant. Solid. Um. Giants have a lot of health. Oh, they have speed 10, 12. It's pretty fast for a giant. And they can wield a weapon um, and wear some armor. Seems like a solid choice. Uh, yeah. I'm happy with that. Um, oh, and of course, it then decides to polymorph itself. Is the trap still there at least? It is. I really hope we can polymorph it into something else before the elf decides to jump in. What's Okay, they don't have much MR, so I've just been unlocked. Okay, zombie, awful pet, but will not jump into the trap either. Quantum mechanic, not ideal, they'll teleport my enemies around. Dwarf King, definitely not ideal. They're totally jumping in the poly trap. And yeah, they're not good on their own. I should actually be on the other side of the poly trap so I can walk away and pull my pet with me when I'm satisfied with it. Aliax. Multiple weapon attacks. Speed is kind of terrible. They can wear all armor. Hmm. 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 I'll still try for something with a bit more oomph. Mosquitoes do not count. Sasquatches won't wear armor, but they... No, their attacks kind of suck too. Interesting. Oh, let's just kick this out of the way. Um... More definite no. They're super slow for high-level canines. You'd think they'd be faster. I mean, they're decent speed, but nothing special. Incubus, hard no. They have very high magic resistance, though, so it might be difficult to get rid of this form. Yeah, 70 MR. Oh, uh, Leprechaun. Wanted to kill it fast before it stole my lamp. At least I don't have to worry about it stealing my amulet anymore. And we return after what I presume will be a cut done in editing, where I pressed A a whole bunch of times. I have a couple new enemies we're facing. Um, actually, hmm. An Incubus could be okay against Catherine. 
Because if the seduction attacks... No, she doesn't have much... Well, she does have a cloak. Hmm. Or, no, do they have a seduct... I think they have a sex attack, which is slightly different. Is it? I'm not certain. I'm not sure if they'll steal things, though. They'll take off your stuff. Which is sort of good. I don't think that's worth it, though. Um, I was going to say I could use the Incubus to steal Catherine's gear, which is, you know, pretty good and part of the reason why she's such a pain. Um, but I'm not, I don't think the Incubus would actually steal it. And that's if he survives. Okay, Owlbear, still a no. But at least it's probably going to be easier to get another form. <laughs> the succubus smiles at the owl bear seductively. That's really not great. Um, anyway. Surprisingly hard to get this owl bear to change. Do they actually have MR? No, they don't. Just normal polywoes. Panthers, they're decent uh, felines, but still felines. I mean, I might take a saber tooth tiger, but panthers, one step too low on the ladder for me to bother. Manny's, definite no. <sighs> Shit. Polymap trap's gone. And I'm stuck with a cobalt chain in, which is just not on. Okay, onto the stash, I guess. And what the hell, I'll take the shaman with me, even though it's totally dying. At least it has intrinsic telepathy, so you know where it is. For all that that matters. Um, this this level no longer has a floating eye, so that should not be ended. Fed it to poor Fault, who is an actually good pet, unlike what I have now. Yes, I do play favorites. Okay, here we are at our stash. Good lord, how did we have enough time to get 180 items up here? These for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know it's useless for now. We'll be coming, we'll be making multiple trips. So if it's not. Actually, yeah, we'll be making multiple trips. So I'm not even going to be taking good weapons or gold because we're not going to use it immediately. So we don't care. Um, what else? None of this food seems important. Scroll wise, I don't know, we might as well take them. Since they're so light. And then we'll want to take the spell books too. So that we have a one stop shop for memorizing spells again. Um, I doubt we'll be able to take. Spellbooks and potions without getting stressed. Yeah. Um, but we can take a couple potions. Yeah, that's not many at all. Um, what are we missing? A uh, bag of tricks. Eh. Extra free action, definitely want. And I might as well take these ones. And rings because they might be useful. Um, digging because you can never have too many digging ones. The rings because I'm about to relearn identify and I'm skilled in or basic in divination now, so I actually have a chance of casting it well. Yeah, 
I would have 0% failure, it seems, if I could cast it. Oops, forgot my Cobalt Shaman. I feel like, I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot. Pretty forgettable. Will it even take on an Orc Shaman? Wow. That is just a pathetic pet. I'm getting a lot of honey badgers. I feel like normally I don't see them randomly shit. Um, I think I lost a point of luck for that, probably. Whatever. Can only sacrifice to get it back. Did I lose alignment? No, it doesn't seem I did. It's good. Stress portal, not ideal for sure. Um, doesn't seem to be many enemies on the level though. I'm sure it will be good. What could possibly go wrong? Um, okay. Back of the stash. We dump all our new stuff in. Oh, I'll close the door so we have some safety there. Okay. Don't need, don't need. Largely don't need. A lot of identify scrolls, nice. Short sword, yeah. Okay. Um, All right, so that's everything moved to my chest that I want. Everything else here is my kind of normal loadout. Um, yes, that is the case. So now we need to remember some spells. Force Bolt, Magic Missile Healing, ID, Wizard Lock. Okay. Force Bolt, Magic Missile Healing, Identify, Wizard Lock. Just ID some of the more pertinent items. Uh, let's see what's up with these scrolls. Um, 
and these rings. It's good enough for now, I feel like. Ooh, that was lucky. Alrighty, um, we do have magic detection scrolls. Good to know. Ooh, a plus three ring of increased damage. Interesting. That is very highly charged. It's made of brass too, so I could eat it. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm gonna make that my new regular ring, I think. Glad to have slow digestion too. That's solid. Um, gain strength, don't care. Uh, teleportation, not super useful either. Alrighty. Um, and then in terms of 300 Zorkmid scrolls, we got all the best ones in my opinion. Uh, charging genocide, magic detection. Mm, and stinking cloud. Which was, I guess, not price ID earlier. Or one of the 300 Zorkmid scrolls wasn't price ID earlier. Don't know which. Uh, so yeah, everything but punishment. So all, objectively all of the good ones, not just in my opinion. Um, magic resistance, or magic detection I can bless and read to look for object properties, but I'm not going to do that right now because I haven't cleared out Ludios's weapons yet. And Castle has weapons too that I might bring up here. Uh, plus, like most other stuff is ID'd now. The important things anyway. Um, curious about these spears, I guess. Uh, tin, sure. Scrolls, why not? Oh, we know that this here is Remove Curse. So I'll take one of those with me, actually. Um, and some of these potions, too. Another ring. Okay. Uh, what should we drop? We've already ID'd this stuff, so let's clear it out for a second for more unID'd things. Okay, we stopped with the scrolls before, so back to the potions. This is probably hallucination. I'll actually just tip into the unicorn horn later to see. Um, I guess I want to know what the charge of that increased damage ring is. Probably negative, obviously. And I'd like to know if this is a magic flute. And I have four more slots, so what else? Um, some of the wands I'm, have, I'm carrying around are not ideal. Not ideal. Let's go with those. Mm, from the top to begin with. Tin of spinach, interesting. ones. I'm very interested in knowing those charges. Um, the other one, I guess the flute. Just a normal flute. Um, and we can name this remove curse, because you know that's what it is, since we've already ID'd enchant on them. Excuse me. And...
Uh, we have enough for one more cast of ID. Let's see what we got. Uh, I guess I'd like to know if one of these is taming, or for that matter, amnesia. All right, we have some taming scrolls. Neat. So we can get another pet to kill off in some sad way. Um, I'll keep our move curse. I'll keep genocide. You never know when you might want to just genocide one particular monster. Um, taming. I'll bring both of those scrolls too. And I'll leave these here. In terms of the wands, I only want two teleport wands. And I do not need a greased normal flute. I think I'd be iffy about a greased magic flute even, to be honest. Okay. Wow, our inv inventory looks so lonely without our normal stuff. I should probably bless my weapons now that I think of it. Um, does a bit of extra damage against demons, which I will be facing on the quest. Just the one, but it's the most important one. Um, man, I have Potion of Invisibility ID, right? I've seen someone use it. Is that true? Effervescent sickness, murky, much injection of the palace. No! Oh! What's his base price? 150? 150, okay. Uh, well then we're sticking around to ID all the 150 potions we have in hopes of finding some invisibility potions to curse. Um, because I could also curse the wand, I suppose. And I do need unholy water to do either. So that requires mass amounts of water. Damn. I guess I'll need to Well first I'm gonna lure this absolutely massive pack of moles nearer to the sanctuary. Um there's some of them I suppose. Uh, I think we'll have to go back to our Sagabon stash, collect all the other potions we want, um, figure out which ones we want to blank, because, get back to max luck, um, because I want a lot of water potions and then I can confuse plus remove curse, um, to hopefully get some unholy water, because I need some way of waking up my quest nemesis from the stairs. Otherwise, it will be much more painful to fight. Um, and it's a decently scary fight, so I want everything I can get in my favor. Another artifact, or just an artifact, would be not go miss in that vein. Where are all these gnolls coming from? I feel like it must have been two packs of gnolls that got generated. Um, this is why you don't leave stuff lying around levels, because then stuff, people pick it up. Instead of following you to their doom like they rightly should. are umbers. Huh, only stress. They're not that heavy then. Screw it. Um still plenty more nulls to go. Come on little fellow. This way. I have candy. Okay, um... 
Oh yeah, uh, I don't know if this is being implemented, but um, I think it might be at some point. Um, Catherine the Ice Queen will be able to be pacified with candy bars. <laughs> oh, shoot. Somebody that just polymorphed. There is a ripping sound, which means... It could have been the Zorn. That is a new monster. Um, that suggests either the Wander Potion, then, rather than a trap. Oh, or it could be that this is a shape changer. That seems more likely. And it shape changed into like a giant or something. Or is this the Zorn? It might be. Yeah, probably was. Okay, retaining that corpse. Never have too much polymorph. Um, I'm really hoping we just get one one gift out of these gnolls. Doesn't even have to be an artifact. Although I'll be super pissed if it's not. Yeah, I'm just killing this. I don't have any polymorph traps to make them useful. So I'm not currently uh, looking for pets. Still two nulls to go, my goodness. Oh well. Um, my power is way up again, so let's do some ID. Anything I want to take out of here too. Uh, I don't need that many tins currently. Digging light, lightning, magic missile, make invisible. Yeah, I want all those ones. Okay, so just the new tin. And what do you have in terms of potions? Oh, I still need to try dipping a unicorn horn in this. And then I want to test out these two in particular. But I'll also take out everything else on ID because why not? Um, yep, it's hallucination all right, because we've found blindness and confusion and what's the other one? I think it's just blindness, confusion and hallucination, yeah. Okay, um, what else have we got? Good enough. Okay, speed, good potion, don't need it. Invisibility, okay, now all I need is water. So back to the other stash. I think this video has been going on for a while. Not sure exactly how long, but even though we're not really the natural breakpoint, and I was kind of hoping to stop right before we started the quest, it seems like we still have a bit of prep to do for that. Um, so I'm going to end here, and I will see you all next time when you'll continue quest preparations and maybe even get that started. We will see. Bye for now.